Welcome family to another episode of the Play to Earn channel where we're going to learn step by step and in an easy way how to install and use Phantom Wallet. As you guys already know, if you've watched our MetaMask videos, in crypto there's different blockchains, okay? There's Ethereum, BNB Chain, Polygon, etc, etc. Solana is one of these blockchains or crypto network. In order to interact with all the decentralized applications of Solana, you're going to need a Solana wallet. And Phantom is a crypto wallet that can hold both cryptocurrencies like Sol and NFTs as well. First, you need to download it and install it on your browser. You come to phantom.app, make sure you're going to the right link, you click on downloads and you download it for your web browser. Unless you're a mobile user. If that's the case, you can also download it either for Android or iOS. But in this case, we are on my desktop and we are on the Edge browser, so we're going to choose Edge here. Then this is going to bring us to this page where we're going to add it as a browser extension, so it works exactly as MetaMask, but for Solana. For some browsers, you might need to allow extensions from other stores if you're not using Google Chrome. And after you arrive to this page, all you have to do is click on install. And this is going to install this extension in your browser. So we can access it right here. Or if it's not showing up, all you need to do is come here to this puzzle piece and click on this icon that is going to allow you to see your wallet right here and now what you're going to do now that you were redirected to this page is you're going to create a new wallet you're going to choose a password here okay so make sure you choose a password that you're going to remember if you have a bad memory you can use an application like keypass for example it's really good also make sure you choose a strong password for security reasons agree with the terms of service whatever those are and click on continue but it must be eight characters long okay now this part is really important it's going to give you a seed phrase or secret recovery phrase what you're going to do is you're going to write it down in two different papers and one of those papers is going to stay in your house okay hidden and the other paper is going to stay in the house of someone you trust and this because your house might burn down and you don't want to lose all your crypto assets because with this seed phrase they can access every single one of your crypto assets that you have stored in your phantom wallet be extra careful with this after you write this down uh, click on i save my secret recovery phrase and click on continue okay it has some shortcut if you want to open your phantom wallet and then at any point and then click finish okay so now that we have phantom wallet what we're going to do next is we're going to connect your same phantom wallet with a decentralized application like the solan hard which is one of solana's marketplace where you can trade nfts what you do is you come to the website okay make sure you're always accessing the right website because many times there are scammy websites connect wallets and this is going to ask you which wallet do you have okay but it's already detected that i have phantom because there are many other wallets in solana and phantom is just one of them so you're going to select phantom and then a pop-up is going to show here and what you're going to do is you're going to click connect and like this this centralized application is going to have access to your crypto assets inside your phantom wallet so for example if i want to sell my nfts here right now i could do it okay or if i want to buy some nfts from one of solana's nft collections i could also do it so now that you have a phantom wallet the things you can do are store send and receive crypto tokens and nfts as well now let's imagine that you want to receive solana what you do is you click right here and it's going to copy your address and you're going to send your address to the friend that wants to send you NFTs or any token. So if you come to this icon right here, you can see all your available crypto tokens and crypto coins like Solana, for example. If I come to this icon right here, I can see all the available NFTs or non-fungible tokens that I own. If I come here, I can swap tokens. So let's imagine that I want to swap my available Solana 
by USDC. I can do it right here. And on this icon right here, I can see all the available transactions that I've done in the last weeks. And this icon right here is going to allow me to configure my wallet. So if I want to change my wallet name, I can do it, okay, right here. I can change the language. I can add some friends, addresses here. I can configure my trusted apps. So these are all the apps that I've connected my wallet with. And this is something that you should check from time to time. Because let's imagine that you've actually connected your wallet with a compromised decentralized application. Well, what you should do right away is come here and click on revoke. So you revoke the smart contract that you signed that probably is going to give access of your crypto assets to that same decentralized application. So if I actually come here to this menu right here, okay, that you can access by clicking on this button, I can actually create more accounts inside the same wallet, okay? And what you should always do is by every decentralized application that you connect your wallet with, you should choose a different account. So let's imagine that I wanna play Alpha Racing League and then I wanna play Meta Wanna, which are different Web3 games. What I should do is I should create an account just for Alpha Racing League and another account just for Meta Wanna. And why? Because one of these applications might have exploits and it might compromise your wallets. Because when you actually connect your wallet, many times you're giving access of your crypto assets to that same decentralized application. If that decentralized application becomes compromised, so do your crypto assets. But if you actually connect different accounts to different decentralized applications, only a percentage of your crypto assets are going to become compromised, okay? Then another thing that you can do is you can actually connect your hardware wallet like Ledger, for example, and link it with your Solana wallet. Okay, and this is really important because this is going to allow you to be protected against remote access attacks. They won't be able to steal your crypto assets because it will require that you accept a transaction with one of these devices right here. This is another security measure that I also recommend that you take. So guys, if you have any questions, don't hesitate and leave us a comment with your question and we'll answer it right away. Also, be extra careful when it comes to security. In crypto, you wanna take security religiously every time. Lots of scams, lots of schemes out there in crypto. You want to be always extra careful. So thanks for watching. If you took any value out of the video, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe for more NFT gaming and crypto crypto education content. Thanks for watching once again and I see a crypto manics in the metaverse.